In February 2011, the city of Christchurch, New Zealand, was struck by a disastrous series of major earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 7.1. killing many people and causing widespread damage and destruction, leaving the city's central business district with many buildings extremely compromised. The ground beneath the art gallery liquefied, causing significant subsidence. In some places across the 6,500 square metres of the building's footprint, the structure subsided as much as 182 millimetres. The city itself floats on massive aquifers, and the below-ground car park of the gallery is actually below the city's water table. Mainmark's work was to be divided into two phases. The foundation ground was to be strengthened. Then the building was to be raised and re-leveled from the newly strengthened ground. A challenging aspect of re-leveling a building from inside its basement was how to monitor the lifting movement when the measuring instruments that are inside would lift with the building. Comprehensive three-dimensional computer models of the building were produced, showing every small part of the structure and its exact position, laterally and vertically, and provided benchmark data for monitoring the progress of the project. The scan provided the ability to enter the virtual building at any time to investigate up to one billion survey points. Throughout the lifting process, Robotic stations were established within the basement and around the building's exterior, continuously monitor more than 400 locations at once. The captured data was transmitted via wireless back to the control room in real time to enable any changes to the injection programming on an hourly basis or as required. They could make adjustments watching on screen as levels gradually rose across every section of the floor. Jet grouting enables the creation of massive columns in the soils beneath a large building. High velocity jets from a drill stem loosen the in situ soil and mix it with cement slurry to form in ground columns. The foundation of the building becomes a very much stronger and more stable platform, and the jet grouting can be formed around obstructions, avoiding such things as underground piping. One huge advantage is that these giant columns can be made through cores of just 200 mm diameter. The Mainmark team's calculations and subsequent design for the positioning of the jet grout columns included extensive geotechnical investigation, finite element modelling, and correlating the three-dimensional plotting with the bore logs showing the ground composition and density. At 124 critical points, penetrations were cored through the car park basement footings. In a predetermined sequence, jet grout injection casings were inserted and soil creek columns were created. There was minimal mess because the excess slurry and water coming back out of the ground was automatically drawn away through large diameter hoses emptying to large waste tanks external to the building. Now, the strengthened foundation ground have put the building on a stable base for the next phase. Precision re-leveling with computer control. Mainmark uses JOG Integrated Computer Grouting, a unique computer-controlled system for re-leveling large and complex structures that have subsided due to seismic activity or other ground movement. With the JOG method, computers control the grout injection process across a large number of widespread injection points. 40 mm diameter injection points were core drilled through the footings in 350 locations across the 6,500 square meters, injecting small amounts of grout at each point in turn in a continuous predetermined sequence. This allows huge heavy structures to be re-leveled gently and precisely. Ten grout pumps were established for the project. Mainmark technicians monitored the progress of the lifting from data fed daily into their control room computers from the large number of monitoring devices they had set up throughout the art gallery. The foundation soils of the structure were substantially strengthened and the entire 6,500 square meter superstructure was raised and re-leveled back to within plus or minus 10 millimeters of the repair design levels. 
We chose Eurotech because they gained um, our trust, which is exactly what we wanted, and, and delivered. And they delivered absolutely on time and absolutely to the budget. It's gone really well from our perspective. They, they, were, they were great while they were here, really busy, really active, uh, really engaged. Uh, they left the place really clean. I was impressed with that. But more than that, they finished uh, before time and the work was done beautifully. And it, it's really great to know that we've got a level building again. The Mainmark Group and Eurotech Ground Engineering New Zealand are proud to have been part of the restoration of this remarkable world-class building, returning the building to its gold-plated rating.